Hey everybody, I'm Erin Busby with BusbyStyle.com. Thank you so much for watching. So today is a very big day for me. Today is my 40th birthday. If you're a follower of my blog or subscriber of my blog, you probably have heard me talking about this day for the last six months because I have, I feel like I in some ways already turned 40, um, but today is actually the day. Leading up to this day, I thought, you know, I'm really zen about this birthday. I feel really good about where things are in my life. Uh, I don't know what the big deal is. I definitely had sort of a mini meltdown when I turned 30, but I'm not gonna have that happen when I turn 40. This milestone is not gonna be like that. Well, I woke up this morning and just had this overwhelming feeling of being depressed, which is ridiculous because I am very, very happy, but I don't know, I just started thinking about when my daughter is 40, I'm gonna be 78 years old because I had her so late in life and kind of thinking, well, geez, I wish I maybe had started a little sooner. <laughs> but that's ridiculous because honestly, I was not ready to have kids any sooner than I did. So I had them at the exact right time. But um, I don't know, there's something about this milestone that does get to me a little bit. I think um, you start reflecting on where you are in your life, what you've accomplished, what goals you set for yourself and which of those goals you have um, checked off the list. And um, I've always been extremely hard on myself, so I still have a lot of those boxes that aren't checked. I definitely wanted to be a published author by the time I was 40. I have been working on a book for the last six months, a styling um, book, but haven't finished it yet because of course there's just never time, but that will get done. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it gets done at some point. Um, but you know, my, my big goals for this milestone were really to have a family, which is priority number one for sure for me, which I do. And both of them are healthy and both of them are happy. And both of them, I think, are growing up in a great environment. They both are having a childhood that I didn't have. Um, so that was probably the biggest box to check and it's a continuing process. I mean, certainly I could screw them up tomorrow, but I'm going to try with every fiber of my being not to screw my kids. And then, you know, the other box was to have a pretty good marriage and, you know, marriage is tricky and has, um, certainly ups and downs. And I was a horrible wife in the beginning of my marriage, uh, Definitely not afraid to admit that, but I think I'm a better wife now, a much better wife. I also wanted to really have a very um, viable business. I wanted to build up a brand and a business. It hasn't happened as quickly as I wanted it to, and the fiscal component of it hasn't happened the way that I wanted it to, but um, nothing ever happens the way that you want it to. Things take twists and turns and ups and downs and and so I'm still plugging away at my business um, it's gotten a lot more focused lately and I do feel like I see a clear path for success so I think that's a huge hurdle and one I'm really really excited about and I know that the fiscal part's gonna come because I think when, I really truly believe that when you're doing something that you love and you're passionate about and it comes from a really good place of really wanting to help people, then the fiscal part, the fiscal success will follow. So I do believe that and I do have faith in that. I don't know why I'm feeling bummed. I mean, I guess you guys um, who are already a part of the 40 crowd could tell me a little bit more uh, maybe than than I could say. I, I'm not really sure why I'm feeling about because I have so many wonderful things in my life and I'm really, really lucky. But I'll tell you the really good part for me um, is I spent a lot of time worrying about what other people thought about me. And my husband said to me, because he's 11 years older than me, he's quite a bit older. He said to me, there will come a point in your life where you just will not care. You will not put this kind of energy into what people think about you. And I thought, you know what? I know he's right and I'm looking forward to that day. I honestly feel like at this point I am freer from that. I don't care as much what other people think. I I just want to be kind to people. I want to help people. I want to be just a much, I guess, kinder, gentler, 
sweeter version of myself than I was in my 20s and 30s. I, I do feel a lot freer. I do feel a lot more confident and comfortable in my own skin. Um, you know, I couldn't have I couldn't have done this YouTube channel. I couldn't have done my blog. I couldn't have done the social media thing probably 10 years ago. I just couldn't have. Um, I would have felt too vulnerable. And now I don't I don't really care if I feel vulnerable or not, and if people like me or if they don't like me. It, you know, I just don't have the same feeling about it. I, I feel much more confident and again, much more comfortable, and I think that helps so I can be more vulnerable, if that makes sense. What's on the bucket list? So the bucket list would be to really grow this business into a fiscal, a big fiscal success and sell my product that I invented, which would also be great. Um, make sure that I'm a great, a, as good a mom as I can be to my kids and I don't screw them up, basically, because they're pretty good kids already. Be a better wife. Um, try not to be so tired all the time my poor husband <laughs> oh man we are going we're planning a trip trip to Africa which is one of the things on my bucket list and I'm really excited about that and we're gonna go next year so I can check that off the list I do want to see Machu Picchu at some point in Peru um, we also my husband and I both want to go to the Galapagos and see all the giant turtles and all the cool like prehistoric type animals there uh, what else do we want to do? I want to go to Vietnam. That's a big one. We were supposed to go on our honeymoon, but it got cut short. Um, so we weren't able to go. So that's on the bucket list. Um, I really would like to get in a stupid RV and drive across the country, which my husband will never do, but it's going to happen at some point. Um, taking my kids to Disney World. See, I don't know. I, this is ridiculous. I don't know why I'm so emotional today. See, this is just inexplicable to me. I just don't understand. Well, my husband also showed me these video messages earlier from some friends. Made me really emotional anyway I would love to hear what your 40th birthday was like and what it was like for you to turn 40 and um, if you freaked out like I have <laughs> if that's normal I look forward to your comments and I will see you next time